Never have I ever fallen asleep at work. Yes, I have fallen asleep at work. I went out the night before and I drank too much, but I still went to work. See, I'm a hard worker. Back to the questions. Never have I ever dropped a baby. Let me explain, okay? Just let me listen. And I don't know how the baby, I, I don't know, and I don't know how to I drop the baby. I don't, I don't know. what's up everybody welcome back to the channel today we are having mall food court fast food chinese food that's what we have and let's eat i got some boba tea here and i got some chinese food here i show y'all in a little bit y'all i'm so hungry i haven't eaten anything today and it's 3 15 it's a rainy day i woke up and it was so beautiful outside i got ready put on my clothes to leave the house and go and say, you know what? I'm just gonna let it rain. So, ooh, my hair is all crazy today. So I got some honey shrimp here. I've never tried honey shrimp. Let me show y'all my food. So this is my food. I have honey shrimp, bourbon chicken, fried rice, crab ragoon, and a spring roll. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. So I woke up this morning and I saw Panchanitas ASMR having Chinese food and it looked so good. And I said, I gotta run out the house and get some Chinese food. So y'all know I don't like the Chinese restaurant that's close to my house. So I came to the mall to go to the food court to get some Chinese food because it's actually pretty good. And and this is good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I like this honey shrimp. It's good. Mmm. Let me tie my hair up so I can throw down. Because this is going to get in the way. Is that better? All right, that's a little better. Don't worry about it. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. That's legit. So have y'all ever tried bourbon chicken from the mall food court? It's usually really good. It's good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. All right, that's better. I don't know what I want to do with my hair, y'all. I straightened my hair and then I came outside after it started raining. And if you natural, you know rain and straight hair don't mix. Oh yeah. So I saw Panchanitas, he did a premiere. I said, I have to have Chinese food today. So I may make this video a premiere. It may very well be my first premiere. I don't know. So, I don't know. We shall see. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. The mall food corn, it's legit. Sometimes you can find some really good food in the mall.
It's still crunchy after all this time. Wow. We might just call this the video with a thousand styles. Y'all, I play too much. I play too much. Mm, mm, mm. So, so I think today I should play a little game. We can play. Never have I ever. Y'all ready for that? I hope so. Oh, yes. So I wrote down some questions on my grocery list. Yeah. Too legit to quit. Uh, uh. Too legit. Y'all remember that? I'm old. Tell them my age. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Let me stop playing. What? Where are you going? Always be aware of y'all surroundings. You don't ever know who around you, who watching you, who looking at you. Make sure you watching them just like they watching you. All right? Okay, y'all, let's get into these questions. So this going to be kind of like a clean version. It definitely ain't going to be dirty. So if that's what y'all looking for, wrong channel. <laughs> Never have I ever faked sick from work. <laughs> you know what? Kevin, y'all watching? Um, I mean, the short answer is, yeah, I think, but to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty hard working, so I typically work when I'm sick, and if I want a day off, I don't have to fake to be sick. I just, you know, don't go in, or I don't know. I don't think I am. Overdrafting my bank account. Hell yeah. Yes, I didn't seen broke days. Hell yeah, I overdrafted my bank account before. Falling asleep at work. Yes, I have fallen asleep at work. I went out the night before and I drank too much, but I still went to work. See, I'm a hard worker. Yes, I fell asleep at work. Never have I ever won more than $50 gambling. Yeah, I won more than $50 and I lost more than $50 too. I want my money back. Mm. I gotta remember to eat y'all because I start talking and then because I start talking and I stop eating and this is an eating show so let me eat That's good. Okay. Never have I ever, never have I ever used a fake ID. Yeah, I used a fake ID before. Yo, I started partying at a really, really young age. I would go out with my cousins. She probably watching y'all wrong for that. Just playing. No, but I would go out at a really, really young age. I started doing that type of thing very very early on in my life so yes i have used a fake id and i've also used a fake id and been denied like that ain't true and that was so embarrassing i think i was 16 but that's another story um never have i ever blamed a fart on someone else hell yeah i'm not taking a fall hmm if it go down and i'm around a lot of people it's somebody else the damn sure ain't me <laughs> Sorry, not sorry. Never have I ever paid for adult content. 
I feel like, I mean, I feel like I have. I don't think I've ever purchased adult content online, but I have been to plenty of strip clubs in my day and made it rain and did all that. I'm pretty sure that means I paid for adult entertainment. <laughs> These questions are funny. Y'all, I thought I just looked at the camera and I thought I wasn't filming. That would have been devastating. I can't say I've ever filmed a video that I thought I was filming and I wasn't, but I've had had many a technical issues and I've had plenty of videos that never got uploaded. Mm. Now this a big ass parking lot How y'all almost hit each other Ain't no cars in the parking lot That's when you know somebody can't drive If they ain't got cars in the parking lot And you still almost get in a wreck with somebody in the parking lot You get in a wreck in an empty parking lot You can't drive Go home Alright y'all next question Never have I ever purposely given someone The wrong number Guilty as charged. Yes, I have. Now, you know, I've been married for a long time, but prior to being married, um, if I went out and somebody approached me um, that I wasn't necessarily feeling, yes, I have. I have given somebody the wrong number. It's usually people who are persistent. Because, see, I try to let you down easy. But if you're persistent, persistent, and I think you're a nice person, I just give you a wrong number just so not to embarrass you in front of your buddies or whatever, but... But if I say, no, I'm good, no, I'm straight, or this and that, and you keep, keep asking me, yeah, you're going to get the wrong number. Otherwise, I just say no. Okay. All right, y'all. Next question. Never have I ever, never have I ever drank an entire bottle of wine. Uh-uh. That's a loud call. I'm filming. Okay, y'all, back to the question. Never have I ever drank an entire bottle of wine. <laughs> yeah, I have. Yeah, I drank an entire bottle of wine. I'm from New Orleans. We start drinking early down now. Mm-hmm. An entire bottle of wine. An entire daiquiri. She had an entire fifth. Yes, I have. I used to drink a lot more than I do now. It's actually surprising because I've been speaking to some family members and they'll be like, girl, I'm drinking more than ever now in quarantine. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm, I'm drinking less. I used to drink anywhere from one to three times a week. And now I don't drink every week at all. So I'm not sure when the last time I had, oh, you know what? I had some champagne last night. I'm lying. I still be drinking. Okay. Never have I ever dropped a baby. There you get your ass on. Go ahead on with that loud call. Where you going with the loud call? If it ain't a motorbike, your car shouldn't be that loud. Okay, turn that shit down. All right, y'all. Um, back to the questions. Never have I ever dropped a baby. Y'all, now let me explain. Okay, just let me listen. I was a kid myself, probably shouldn't have been holding the baby, and yes, I dropped the baby. The baby was fine, the baby didn't get hurt, the baby is okay, the baby is grown now, okay, just like me, I'm grown too. But y'all, I was young, and I was holding the baby, I wasn't that young, I was a teenager, but I was holding the baby, and I don't know how the baby, I, I don't know, and I don't know how to, I dropped the baby, I don't, I don't know, I think he must have been squirming. He wasn't a little, little baby, he was probably closer to one, so he could walk. All right, y'all, next question. Oh, let me try, let me try this. Um, So I got some sweet and sour sauce. Let me see if this is good, because I don't like everybody's sweet and sour sauce. And I have a spring roll here. Y'all know spring roll is different than an egg roll. Let's see. Mmm.
the sweet and sour sauce is good. I don't really like the egg roll though. Let me try the crab ragoon. See that? And then the inside is normally filled with um with cream cheese and imitation crab meat. Can we see this? Is it washed out? Can we see it? Okay, so let me dip this. wasn't good nope okay everything that glitter ain't gold you heard it here first all right y'all let's get back to the questions okay let me see how many i only have two more never have i ever auditioned for reality tv i have can you guess can you guess what show I may have auditioned for? I'm going to give y'all a minute. I'm going to let that nestle. Put it down in the comment section and let me see if y'all was right. So I'm going to go to the next question and answer that one last. Okay, never have I ever been in a police car. Oh, y'all, y'all nosy. Y'all want to know too much. Mm -mm. I said this one, this was just going to be light. Okay, y'all, yes, I've been in the back of a police car, but it's not what you think. It's not what you think. Okay, it's not what you think. It's not what you think, okay? Not what you think. All right, y'all, so yes, I have auditioned for a reality TV show. I did it when I was much younger. I was a teenager, probably like 14. I took that out, y'all. I'm so confused. Um, I was probably like 14, and I auditioned for, drum roll, please, <laughs> American Idol. Yes, I auditioned for American Idol when I was about 14 years old. And no, I didn't make the cut. Obviously, I'm here making YouTube videos. They didn't pick me. But it's all good. Mm. <laughs> Y'all. Y'all, this going to turn into how many times did I change my hairstyle show? Um, anyway, okay, y'all, let's get to this boba tea. So this is a peach mango. No, this is a peach tea with mango boba. I think that's right. So. Ooh. Oh, no. Ooh. So y'all know I just started recently drinking tea. So I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. Let's see. And I've never tried boba before. Mmm. I don't know why I wasn't expecting a boba coming through the straw into my mouth. That kind of startled me. But it's good. Mm. I've always wondered what boba tastes like. I see people drinking it all the time, but no one ever really says what it tastes like or what it feels like. So I'm gonna tell you the date. Okay. So the tea tastes like any fruity drink. This doesn't taste like tea at all. It just tastes like a fruit drink and I actually really, really, really like it. So I would definitely order this again. The boba. The boba tastes like a gummy. It tastes like a gummy bear or a gummy worm or just anything gummy. That's what boba tastes like. Yeah. I heard people say things like popping boba and stuff like that, but... I don't know what they mean, but it just has a gummy flavor. Not a gummy flavor, a gummy texture. Are we getting ASMR moments here? <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, this is good, guys. I would definitely recommend this. So this is what it is. Can y'all see this? Peach green tea. And this place is called Gonja. Gonja? 
Gancha. Gancha. Hmm. I like it. It's a pretty expensive drink because this was, I think, five dollars and fifty cents. So it's not cheap. I'm wondering if it's like a meal replacement. Is this like having a smoothie or no, it's just a drink? Mm. I like it. So good. Mm. I tried something new today, mom. I hope you're proud of me. All right, y'all, so I'm not gonna keep y'all too much longer. I just wanted to hop on here and have some Chinese food with you guys. I really enjoyed the honey shrimp and the bourbon chicken was good as well. The rice was just okay and the crab ragoon and spring roll, I was not feeling at all. This boba tea, this boba tea is good. I like it. So if y'all have a gongcha, a gongcha in y'all area, y'all might want to try it out. Next time I get boba tea, I will try the milk flavor. But this time I wanted to ease my way in and I'm glad I chose this. Mm. it's such a fun drink don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up i really appreciate it and it does help me out i love trying new stuff this is so cool i'm so happy with this amazed wow try boba y'all oh wait let me mention this because i've been realizing like some of my comments have been going into spam i don't know why i don't know why my comments are going into spam y'all when i come to your video i'm watching the video in full or at least letting it play in full my comments should not be going into spam so if it is don't be thinking that i'm in and out of y'all video because i'm telling you i'm not it's just, I don't know, it's some type of YouTube thing going on. What are they putting my comments in spam? What else? I think it's when I use my phone. Like, say if I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking and I want to watch a YouTube video. I usually do it on my phone. And I think that's what's causing it to go into spam. Because other than that, I watch videos on my laptop in multiple tabs. So, it's playing in full. So, there's no reason it should be going into spam. I don't use a lot of emojis or whatever. So, I just wanted to let you guys know that. I'm rambling guys. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be coming out with merch soon because y'all know I talks a lot. Either I'm not talking at all or I'm talking too much. It's either black and white. It ain't no gray in between. All right, y'all. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Try boba, y'all. Try boba, y'all. It's fun.